Hey guys, welcome. We're gonna continue talking about our, my photos from Alentejo, Portugal. Some street photography, and we're just gonna keep rolling, you know? Talking about it, how I did that, the backstage of it, and I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. This is another good exercise. You're just strolling by the street, you're walking by, observing, just watching, looking for a situation. That's, I think that's one of the moments where photography, it's, it's such a joy to practice because you're walking in a different country, in a different city. It's, everything is it's new and it's, it's, it's weird and it's different from what you're used to. That's the beauty of traveling and going to different countries and different places. You get there and you, you, you get fascinated by everything. That's, that's a beautiful place to be as a photographer because you're, everything attracts you. So I'm walking in this city. This is a city called Évora in the Alentejo region in Portugal. And it's a beautiful city. It has hundreds of years and a lot of history and then I'm right here walking by and the sun is starting to go down a bit I might say you know this is more that part of the day where light starts to get really beautiful you can see that it's a side light look at the size of this shadow we, we definitely the sun definitely is not top light here the sun is somewhere right there but this was not the way I was seeing it it was not so dark like this. What I did, again, underexposing it. I'm ISO 100, so I have a lot of light. I just go to the lowest ISO just to secure a good, clean image. Same thing, I go to a shutter where I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna have any trouble with, with uh, shaking. So I'm 400 on my shutter, enough to freeze most of the scene. And then probably my light meter in the camera was giving me a 2.8. I then went there and consciously made a decision to underexpose it. And here I'm what? Two stops underexposing this image. So I can get dark blacks. But I still, if you open up this image on a Photoshop and you still see there's a plain, plenty of detail in my shadows. That's a cool thing. You don't wanna, sometimes you might wanna go completely black on your shadows. But it's, it's a nice touch to leave some detail, you know? You know what you're doing. You leave some detail in there. But you still underexpose it to, to, to give this really strong contrast. You might enhance it later on as well. And probably you have to enhance it on Photoshop. But not in a way that you're gonna make the whole thing. You never, you know, Photoshop, Photoshop is just an enhancing program. It's not, you're not gonna make another photograph out of it. You just enhance it. I gave, I gave the look that I wanted right there in camera. And then in Photoshop, you enhance it a little bit. Because, you know, and you have to do, you're not cheating. You have to do this. If you don't shoot raw, I tell you right now, always and only shoot raw in your camera. But shooting raw is gonna do one thing for you. It's gonna preserve all the information in your file, but it will also, it will be a very, let's say, not so saturated image, not so much contrast. It's a very clean and washed out uh, file. So you gotta put back some of the saturation, some of the color, some of the, it's more, it's more like a, a feeling for, for the place and, and the time where you were photographing. Raw is amazing how you can, the, the, the amount of information that you can record in a raw file, especially with this camera here. But then you bring it into Photoshop, you gotta bring back some of that saturation, some of that color, some of the contrast. So you're not cheating, you're not creating something that was not already there. And so here I'm just walking by, I see this lady and she's talking to somebody, I think in the phone. I just stopped because she was right there in this slash of sunlight. And then she starts to smoke a cigarette. And I love the, the contrast of the smoke of the cigarette. 
And whenever I see somebody smoking, I, I like to photograph if I can, because it's, it's, it's a little moment they take. And I like these quiet little moments in, in the city. You know, there's people coming. There's, I'm sure there was other people going by as well. So I just, I wait there. I see the light. I say, hey, let's see. Maybe there's a good photograph out of this place, you know? Again, nothing much happened. It's just somebody having a cigarette, you know? But then you start looking for... An interesting image, you underexpose it, make the, everything more snappy, more contrasty, and then you start to have an interesting image out of complete ordinary moments. All right, guys, thank you, that was it. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll be back here with more photos, more information, and please subscribe the channel and send your questions. I'll be happy to answer, I'll do my best to answer them. All right, thank you.